welcome to all myself professor deshmukh ms going to present the theory lectures on unit number 2 of the subject dynamic op machinery the title single degree of freedom systems with the force vibrations now before going to the the force vibrations uh, the details what is the basic here force vibrations definitions the vibration with the application of some external force and also the resistance to the motion that is called as what force vibrations what about the damp vibrations the vibrating body suffering from the resistance while the vibrating means what in the case of the force vibrations we are applying some external force uh, in the figure that is shown here that is k having the spring uh, stiffness having c is the damper c is the coefficient of damper of the showing the figure xt is the displacement of the your mass with the time interval fe omega t is the external force we are applying to the system and some block diagram or the visualization diagram we have seen that what are the forces available with the mass m mx double dot this is the kinetic or you can say inertia force cx dot this is the damping force kx this is the spring force and fe i omega e is to omega t uh, is the nothing but the what the external forces we are applying to the systems now these are the damping that we are being having along with the spring stiffness k c that is damping coefficient and i am having the mass now what are the types of the damping uh, methods are we are available with us that is the dry frictions then again viscous damping structural damping slip or inter racial damping so first one that is a dry friction or this is coulomb damping in this case damping force is constant in magnitude and the opposite to the motions so this is called as what dry frictions or you can say coulomb frictions so again this is the one kind of you can say that what are the friction is available uh, that create the resistance to the motion that is called as what dry friction or you can say coulomb damping then again uh, second that is viscous damping viscous this is viscosity available with the your lubricant it create the resistance to the motion or the velocity so that is called as viscous damping then again structural damping so this is the solely due to the internal friction is available with the molecules whatever the internal uh, frictions is available between the molecules this is a micro level study so this is called a structural damping again fourth one is slip or inter facial uh, damping the energy of vibration is dissipated by means of the microscopic slip on interfaces of the machine's part that we are in a contact under with the fluctuating load so what is this here so because of the fluctuating load there is a being energy uh, losses and that in terms of the loss of their energy it create the resistance to the motions so it is called as slip or interstitial damping now what are the damping systems are available that we are already seen in the last lecture also that is over dam critically dam under dam and on dam over dam system the system returns to its equilibrium positions without oscillating second that is a critically dam system that is being the what is the system is goes to quickly to its uh, original positions without oscillating that is called as what critically dam again under dam there is a progressive uh, degradation of your uh, amplitude with some oscillations that is called as what on dam uh, sorry that is a under dam situation and dam the system oscillate it is a natural resonance frequency so there is a no resistance so that is called as what on dam system typical gap which shows the amplitude variation with the time so pink line shows the strong damping that the initial we are having some amplitude it goes on decreasing uh, then again green line shows the critical damp that initially we are having the maximum amplitude it goes to its rest position then again the blue line shows undamped vibrations that is throughout it having your amplitude being nearly constant so there is no resistance to the motion and that situation it is called as undamped vibrations uh, what about the underdamped that is shown by red lines so it shows 
the vibration amplitude goes on decreasing with the time now some basic concept that is what is the frequency what is the natural frequency here so frequency is quite simpler one uh, with the diagram we have seen that some spring is there some mass is there so ap after application of your forces to the mass m or initial moment it goes to the oscillations and this number of oscillations completed per unit time that is called as what frequency and the frequency of this system of free vibrations that is called as what natural frequency means what if we are applying some initial forces after that it goes releasing and we are having some uh, the frequency of that vibration that is called as what natural frequency now the differential equation of the force damp vibrations uh, some pictorial diagram is showing here with the different position of mass m uh, in the figure b and c with figure a only the spring is available thus figure b which shows the mass is attached that's why some deflection we have seen that x 0 with the weight mg and the with figure c we have seen that after the application some uh, or we can say the initial displacement we are got some dis, uh, deflection that is x and from its uh, uh, initial positions uh, the x plus x0 x is after application of the initial moment the x will be the displacement x0 when we are applying some mass to the spring so it is x0 so x plus x0 this is a particular displacement and what are the force is available with the spring that is k f is equal to k x plus x0 y is minus sign minus the what are the forces that is the in upper direction so these are the forces available now there is some free body diagram shows that with the what are the forces available with the mass m with the real numbers principled mx double dot plus kx is equal to 0 mx double dot this is the inertia force kx that is spring force ok the spring force and the inertia forces is always in the upper direction so natural frequency of system omega n is equal to under root of k by m is quite simpler one by considering the external harmonic forces mx a that is mx a plus c c x v plus k x m into a we can say that c into v k into x is equal to f0 sin omega t f0 sin omega t this is the external harmonic forces we are in terms of the sinusoidal waves there is some typical methods are available to calculate the vibration or to measure the vibration. Some analytical methods are there, some graphical methods are there. In analytical method, uh, there is uh, the formulations are involved and the formulations is being done throughout the some different methods. And the graphical method, the some vector diagrams we are drawn with some magnitude and some directions. So that can be measured the vibrations. So this is all about your the methods of the vibration. So thank you, thank you to all.